And is it hereditary? Yes, it is. And um, we watched her mother pass away from this disease after battling it for about 12 years. How long has your wife had it for? Well... Or have the, have the, the stages come in where you've noticed... We've noticed it about 10 years ago, I would say, where we were certain. And at the time, we lived in the States, and we decided to come back to Canada, mainly for health care reasons. It was difficult to find anybody to insure us in America. Um, we came back here, and things just progressively got worse. Huntington's disease is cruel because it takes the body like Lou Gehrig's, but it also takes the mind. It eats away at your brain. So my wife has lost a lot of her cognitive thinking, her reasoning, and at times her decision making. Mm -hmm. So what stage is she at right now? And is there anything that the medical profession can do to, to I don't know if they can cure, but at least alleviate what she's going through? There is no treatment for Huntington's that exists in any pharmaceutical shelf. However, while, while there are many complications of Huntington's, I always have to remember that no matter what we experience as a family, Anita suffers much worse. Her hands shake, she's unable to walk, she can't stand for more than five minutes, so it's, she finds it difficult to do those things she used to love doing, like mm -hmm. cooking and baking, even putting nail polish on, or making herself look pretty. And, uh, of course, she has very low self-esteem due to her illness, and she sees herself as, as being ill all the time. So do you have caregivers that come in and help? Because this must be costly as well. It's... Uh, it's costly and it's uh, very difficult for any caregivers to come in to tell you the truth. We, we, we do a lot of it ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that um, there's help starting to come now as people are becoming more aware of it. Well, you've got something up on, is it Facebook or is there a website? Yes, uh, we are developing a website. It's called Hannah's Ride for Life .com. Uh We also are in process of recording a song, a Hannah's Ride for Life theme song. And uh, we hope to have that uh, professionally recorded and released within about a week. Yeah. Um, our intent is to raise a million signatures and go to the government and say, listen, Anita wants to live. Can we give her that shot mm -hmm. at life? Is she allowed to risk living? And the reason I say that is because on February 13th, the University of Alberta released a, a medical study that showed... Uh, uh, incredible promise for people that are suffering with Huntington's. It showed a complete reversal of the symptoms and actually brought the brain back to near normal condition. Well, you can imagine how exciting that is for us to hear. Mm -hmm. But then, what are the roadblocks in this? Why, why haven't they tried it on humans yet? Well, there is a process. The University of San Diego in California also released a study a couple of weeks ago showing, again, the same results, that Huntington's can now be treated. But all medication has to go through a process. It has to be tried and trust, mm. tested before it's yeah. released into the general population, and, not, and I agree with that, and I stand with that. But there are those exceptions. There are those cases where someone's life's on the line or a child fighting leukemia needs mm -hmm. a treatment and there are no other medical options. And in those situations and in those cases, that's what I'm trying to, to raise awareness of mm -hmm. is that Hanita and others ought to be able to, in a free country mm -hmm. and as free citizens, decide freely to take a risk at living. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say. And, and uh, you know, my wife two months ago ended up in the hospital, and uh, she was suicidal at the time. Today she has hope. Mm -hmm. Today she has something to fight for. Can our listeners do anything? Even, uh, you know, we're trying to get the awareness out right now and direct them to the Facebook site. Is, is there anything we can do to help out? Well, um, definitely. Uh, we have... Um, we have set up a non-for-profit account at Scotiabank, Hannah's Ride for Life, and we are looking to raise funds. We want to tour 
communities. We want to tour beaches this summer. We want to get out there. We want to race mm-hmm. a million signatures. So that's a good start. The other thing is collecting names and postal codes from people and emailing them to Hannah's Ride for Life at yahoo.ca. That would be really appreciative. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to get a thousand emails for a thousand signatures, but if I'll take them all. Yeah. But I'm saying if someone would volunteer their time to collect 10 or collect 100, I would really, really be grateful. Well, I appreciate you coming in and just telling us about what, what Hannah's going through. and uh, She is a wonderful woman. Yeah. She's an amazing lady. And mm. uh, we've been married uh, in three weeks. Well, it'll be 21 years. We've been together since 1988, so we've we've had a long journey. Yeah. How is the family coping with this? Um, my daughters, the two oldest, have both suffered a lot, and uh, I don't think anybody can imagine the scars they carry. Mm-hmm. However, I'm very proud of them. Wow. I'm proud of them both. You keep us posted about her condition and anything we can do, if there's anything coming up, keep us posted, okay, Andy? I will do that, and thank it, you very much. It's a very real nice pleasure to meet you this morning. Andy Minan joining me this morning, and uh, once again, go and have a peek. Find the Facebook site, and we'll get more details about the upcoming song and, and website as well, too. It's 816 at 1240 CJCS.